Good morning, friends. I hope you guys are doing well this morning. I would like to talk about storms this morning. Are you scared of storms? Can I tell you a secret? I'm a little scared of storms too. It can get really loud and noisy and dark, and they can be kind of scary. But I want to talk about storms because in our Bible story this morning, there is a really big storm. Storms are noisy and loud. So as we talk about storms this morning, I want us to imitate the noises of storms, okay? So when I think of storms, I hear a few noises. I hear rain and thunder and lightning and wind. I want us to imitate those sounds with our bodies to help us tell our story a little bit, to remember how loud and chaotic it probably is during a storm. So for the sound of rain, I want you to take your hands and pat them on your lap. It kind of sounds like rain hitting a window. Do you hear it? Okay, stop. Next, I want you to take your feet and stomp them on the ground for the sound of thunder. Boom, boom, boom. Do you hear it? Okay, stop. Next, for the sound of wind, Do you hear it? I want you to do that too. Okay, stop. Finally, for the sound of lightning, I want you to clap your hands. Do you hear it? It kind of sounds like lightning. A big crash, a clap of lightning. Now, when I start telling our story, and I will tell you when, I want you to make those noises along with us, along with me, okay? But first, let me tell you a little bit about our story this morning. So in our story this morning, Jesus is riding in a boat, and he's with all of his friends, his followers. And then a big storm comes while they're on this boat in the middle of the sea. Here is a time where you guys should start making your noises, okay? Whoosh, whoosh, boom, boom, boom. Whoosh, whoosh. Keep that up, okay? So the lightning is booming and the lightning is clapping and the thunder is booming and the rain is falling quickly and the wind is whooshing. You hear it? And this is all happening while they're on this boat and the waves are getting bigger and they're going back and forth and they're getting really scared. Jesus' followers are so scared. And then they realize that Jesus is nowhere to be found. Well, they go and find Jesus and he's sleeping. Jesus is sleeping in the middle of a storm. And his followers wake him up and say, Jesus, it is storming. I think our boat is going to flip over. We are in big, big trouble. And Jesus says, what are you worried about? So Jesus goes out to the edge of the boat and he says, silence. Okay, stop. Silence, Jesus says. He says, silence. And it all stopped. Whoa. Jesus had calmed the storm himself. He had been sleeping. He wasn't concerned. He wasn't worried about his followers because he knew that he could stop the storm himself. Sometimes there are storms in our lives where things seem loud and scary. Maybe we have a bad day or a really bad week at school. Jesus calms these storms too. Jesus is always with us and he can always calm our storms. We just have to remember to bring our storms to him, to let him know about them, just like his disciples did. They brought their storm to Jesus and he calmed it. Will you pray with me? Dear God, 
Thank you for calming our storms. No matter how big the waves. Amen. Thank you, friends, and I hope you remember this week to bring your storms to God. I'll see you guys soon.